People who do smoke, well, let me warn you about something. The number one cause of bladder and kidney cancer is smoking. And you know how that happens? These two organs will filter impurities and hold impurities in place for a long time. And when you concentrate all those carcinogenic properties in your kidneys and your bladder, guess what? You're on the road to some pretty nasty results when it comes to either bladder cancer or kidney Take cancer. Take a look at the bright side. What happens when you quit smoking? Well, we broke it down into one month, nine months, and a decade after you've quit. So, if you get to that point and you're able to quit one month, one month, you have improved lung function and increased blood circulation. My goodness, if you can get that little bit taken care of, you might be able to avoid all those other symptoms. All right, nine months down the road, the cilia in your lungs begin to be restored. These are the part of your lungs that help trap all those fine particulates and hold them and keep them there and then get rid of them, all right? Imagine that, to be able to have a better filter in your lungs, all right? That's what the cilia are gonna do for you. 10 years down the road, this is the big payoff for you. Risk factors are lowered for bladder, kidney, and prostate cancer. Can you believe that? If you could go through your life and say, man, look at that. My ability to live a longer life has just been improved because I'm gonna avoid things like bladder, kidney, and prostate cancer. Does that mean you're gonna stop your regular age-appropriate screenings? No, keep doing that. But at least you lowered your risk factors.